Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's head on over to stage three and go right in. Oh, look at a cute little butter. <gasps> I was gonna say butterflies, but this is even better. Remember how much I love the plasma power in my Kirby Superstar walkthrough? Well, we've got the normal spark right here. However, this spark not only co is composed of the normal spark power, but it is also the plasma power reimagined! Oh yes, baby! To charge up the plasma power, you either rotate the D-pad like mad to, to charge it up quickly, uh, or you can just shake the Wii remote like... That's maybe the preferred method for some people if you can't rotate the D-pad quickly. Uh, so this is easily my favorite power in the entire game, and I will probably be using it a lot unless I need other powers to get through things. I always found those cannonballs from those cannons really, really weird in that they like swirl as they're going around. That was the plasma power up, by the way, if you didn't realize that. Uh, so you couldn't miss this if you tried. <laughs> It's really easy to cut through things like that as well. And is there anything else? No, there's nothing. Okay. This is just a split path, I suppose. Woo! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Aha! Energy sphere. One of three. Let's go through the door, find some more. And got some really weird music going on here. I, 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 this is such a familiar song, but I just can't picture where this is from. I'm pretty sure it's from a Kirby game. It might be because I never played the Kirby game it was from. I haven't played every Kirby game, unfortunately. I, I'm gonna be seeking them out, actually, to play them all. Uh, you know, like, buy them used or something like that. Um, do I really want to... I don't, I don't want to lose... Oh, fine. I just, uh, is that really all that they want? Uh, I, I didn't want to lose my pla well, spark power for that. <laughs> Why did, why, why did they want to teach me that all over again? I, we learned that in the last part. It's fine, I'll take the fire again. These switches open doors or do other functions. It depends on the switch, depends on the thing. What is this? Oh, the beam power. I can use that to destroy blocks and drop cannons, as well as shoot through things, which is pretty handy. You can destroy things from a safe distance like that, so that you don't get hurt by things. Oh, I see I need to bring a key back over here. Oh, that's right, it's on the other side of these platforms. I can just hover my way through here, can't I? Yeah, that's pretty nice. <laughs> so, now I don't have my hovering powers because I can't double jump. I should say hover, wait, wait, actually, I should do this, yeah. Playing it safe, I probably should have cleared that on my way through here, but alas, I didn't think that far ahead. Brontobert, you respawn way too quickly. <laughs> um, the respawn rate of enemies in Kirby games is ridiculously high in that you just get them off screen a little bit and they're already back. <laughs> Though that is pretty handy for certain areas in that you need you might need a certain power for something and you may have accidentally killed an enemy, so you don't have to go too far to respawn it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that I want Ah, screw it, that's not, not really worth it. Do I Do I want to destroy these Yeah, I probably did want to destroy that first. I was like what if, will I drop something off that if I destroy it ahead of time? Sometimes there's traps like that in Kirby games. Uh, there's a switch. Oh, 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 this weirdo waddle dee or whatever the heck this thing is. If you don't get ahead of it in time and get it- oh, shoot. If you don't get where it's going ahead of time, it's gonna suicide and take that key with it. So, you do not want that to happen. <laughs> ow, 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 no, 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 oh, okay, I'm good. I am good to go, I am golden, gimme. And, did I- maybe I should have taken, taken that sword power. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> And that opens the door. The last energy sphere, one three, is now complete. And I'm pretty sure the exit is right up ahead. Yep. And here we are. Oh god, here we go. I am never gonna get that one. Though I can moonwalk quite gracefully. <laughs> And at the end of every world is, of course, a boss stage. Oh, I... Why did I say that already? I don't know. I, 
For some reason, I thought there was like three stages in the first game. Well, here's the boss stage over there. Well, whatever, let's just go into stage four. Four energy spheres, ironically. And more awesome music. What What is with Kirby games and having such great soundtracks? I just never understood that. I'm not complaining, though. And those things fall, um, as you can see, and they'll hurt you if they fall onto you. You can tell which ones are going to fall if they're wob wobbly, and I jumped way too soon there. Oh, there's a pineapple here, and that recovers a, a decent amount of energy. Hello there, secret passageway. Yoo-hoo! You can't fool me. I, I don't really think it was meant to fool anybody, though. <laughs> I mean, that's not very well hidden. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I want that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and this also acts as, as a nice shield as well. The spark power up. Freaking awesome. And I forgot I can just run across one, scare, one square gaps like that, such as in Mario games. They did rebalance the spark power in that it takes a little bit longer and more clicks, or I should say more taps of the D-pad or shakes to charge the sucker up. Uh, wait, do you give any power? I don't remember if you give a power. No, you don't, so I'm going to take my plasma. <laughs> I was thinking it gave me the spear power for some reason, which I'd like to show a little bit later. But man, I love this power. It is freaking awesome, and so is this invincible candy. <laughs> And it also increases your speed as well, if you didn't notice that. <laughs> Just bowling through everything ridiculously fast. Maximum tomato, I would like that. Maximum tomatoes would cover you all of your health, and I took a lot of damage because I've been playing recklessly. Did I miss anything? I, really? I don't know, I feel like I missed something in my rampant rampage there. <laughs> Mm, I'm gonna trust it and just go on, I suppose, because I didn't see anything that was off or indicating that there was a secret. If there is, I'm gonna have to go back into the stage then, I suppose. And now we're in a cave somehow, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Man, these stalactites or stalagmites, I forgot which are which, depending on if they grow on, I mean, depending on if they're on the ground or on the ceiling. Uh, I forgot which are they are, but anyway, they're growing really quickly, and this is a shield. It also runs out just like that cannon power-up ran out that I showed you a little bit earlier. So make sure that you make your way through whatever area that you're going through. And it doesn't protect you from things underneath you, of course. So that should be pretty obvious. I mean, it's a shield ab above your head, not anywhere else. And it also kills enemies quite nicely as well, if you didn't notice that. So that, that lets you bowl through things pretty quickly. Uh, I hope I didn't need that leaf power-up. <laughs> uh... There's an energy sphere, right? Oh, oh shoot, did I want to... Yeah, I did want to do that. <laughs> I was like, did I screw myself? Because sometimes those switches uh, blockade you into not getting something. Okay, let's... Oh, that was the second energy sphere. Okay, we're good to go. I didn't miss anything in that other area that I like I thought I did. I don't know why I keep thinking I'm missing stuff. Maybe I just don't have confidence in my searching abilities. And we got a good chain reaction right here with that bomb. I don't know exactly. Oh, new superpower! Don't know exactly how those bombs chain reaction destroy blocks, but uh, that's just how they work. And this is the monster flame. You can use it to destroy stuff in a straight line with those stars, as well as kill enemies quite rapidly. Uh, it'll always appear just above your head, so you'll know exactly where to aim. It's not that hard to aim it whatsoever. Maybe it takes like a couple tries to get the idea of where you want to aim it. But once you do, you'll be destroying everything. All these uh, ultra or super powers, excuse me, whatever you want to call these things, completely broken. But really, really fun to use. That's that's a part of Kirby games that I like so much is that you have really, really overpowered powers. I mean. It, it's just so much fun bowling stuff over. Even though it makes things so much easier, it's just so much fun to do and so satisfying. It's one of the reasons why I like Kirby games so much, is just that they're just fun to play. They're not hard to, they're not hard games in the slightest. They're just fun, and that's what a good game should be. It shouldn't try to be you know, hard for the sake of being hard to entertain the hardcore gamers of sorts. It's just a sort of thing that just should be what it should be, you know. It shouldn't force itself to be something it's not. <laughs> I 
Anyway, another portal, so you see what's coming now. Back into spooky black and white world with awesome, tastic music. I just, ah, uh, unbelievably good soundtracks and Kirby. Whoa, <laughs> Kirby games. What was I thinking there? I should have always do ye all hover. There's no hurry or anything here. I mean, as I showed before, that wall doesn't hurt you in the slightest. It's just a purple dark matter wall of sorts, whatever the heck you want to call it. Uh, and these earlier different dimension areas here don't really have much threat to them as expected for you know an early game area but later ones do so I'm gonna have to be more hasty there here however no oh and in case you didn't realize if you ever get that wall off screen it starts trailing you a little bit quicker so what will happen is that uh, it, it keeps the pressure on you no matter what so that's, that's another thing that's in good design as well, so that you can't get too far ahead of that wall at any time. And we got another Sphere Doomer here containing two spheres. It's the same, same kind as before, and I just raped it with the spark power up there as expected. And it's complete. This place is once again flourishing with color. And we're nearing the end of the stage. Ah, uh, such beautiful orchestrated music. Ah, uh, I cannot compliment this game's soundtrack enough. <laughs> the soundtrack is almost as good as the gameplay, dang it. <laughs> okay, maybe that's not true. But I would definitely listen to the soundtrack as like if it was on a CD or something like that. All right, now the boss stage. <laughs> And guess who's the boss of the first world? Come on, guess it. We start out on top of the treetops. We got a couple powers. You know I'm going to keep my spark power up just because I can. And if you guessed Wispy Woods, you would be right. <laughs> Wispy is just as easy as any other Wispy Woods boss in any other Kirby game. Just stands in place. And also, boss music is awesome as well. <laughs> One of my favorite songs in the game is the boss music. And once it gets at half health, it'll do this new thing. It'll grow in size and then try and suck you into it. So, dash all the way to the left side. Run, 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 run! And this is how you avoid it. And after that, it doesn't really do all that much to defend itself after that because of the fact that it's stunned and whatnot. And all you have to do is dodge its stuff that falls out of the trees. And it's a pathetic boss. <laughs> Let's just say that. I defeated it easily. We got a ship part from him. Awesome. And we also get a little cutscene to go with it. Okay, two cutscenes. <laughs> that was one of two. Psst, psst. Hey, Green Green's music. Remix. And magically, the ship oars just pop right back into place. I, I don't know how that works. I guess maybe it's like a Lego ship or something like that. And this is the inside of the ship, actually. I'll give you this, I'll give you a little tour before I end this part off. Uh, parts of the ship unlock depending on how many energy spheres you have, and that's the motivation you have to collect all the energy spheres in the game. No problem. I am definitely doing that as I 100% in World 1. Also, those, uh, uh, staticky areas of the ship that you see all over the place will be repaired as you collect the energy spheres. It's a neat little touch, I have to say. So down there are the sub games that you can unlock, that you can play solo or with your friends. Copy ability rooms, uh, depending on how many you see the numbers on the door, that's how many you need to unlock each door. Should be pretty obvious, of course. Uh, like I can unlock that door. I'm not going to do any of those challenge stages until after I collect all the energy spheres, just to, like keep them all organized into a one video set, you know, all in a row like that, so that they don't get disorganized. So those will be like the last things that I'll be doing. 
Yes, I have, baby. World 1, 100 percented. Nah, I'm not gonna give it a try right now. But thanks for your generous offer. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Uh, like, over here, you can go through the door. This is where the power rooms are. Uh, all very, very obvious down here are the mini-games. Again, locked up. Um, those power rooms are quite handy a little bit later, uh, like if you were to need a certain power for a certain stage to get a certain energy sphere, you can always go to that area after you get 80 spheres and get any power that you want, or even earlier if you manage to only need one of the powers and one of the earlier uh, unlocking doors, you know, earlier doors that you can unlock with less energy spheres. Anyway, uh, to access the ship anytime, uh, just go to the world map. And then you select the ship on the world map and then you'll go over to the ship. The next world is unlocked. It is a desert world. Anyway, you see you just select the ship like that. It's the Lore Star Cutter. And then you just enter the ship like this. Should be pretty simple and obvious. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part and I will see you in the next part when we start World 2.